Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jump. Basically, you start out with massive amounts of data. You say, how are we going to analyze this? Well, let's fire up a pivot table and see if we can solve this problem. Hey, all right, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. This is episode 957 for February 24th. Let's go back to episode 954. Wow, that one generated a lot of mail. I was doing a seminar up in Wisconsin and someone uh, said that they needed to search all of the worksheets in a workbook. Now, a few of you wrote in and said, wait, that's already in the find command. If you just click options, you can change this to search from the sheet to the entire workbook. And while that's true, uh, the person in the audience was using Excel 2000. Very frustrating uh, having someone back that far. I always used to joke that Microsoft didn't add a lot from 2000 to 2002 to 2003. But clearly, they improved the find box here. Next. Excel is fun. Mike Gervin from uh, YouTube wrote in and said, hey, that macro that you wrote is awesome using send keys. I used caret F in order to send control F. He says, how do you do alt? How do we send an alt key? And that's a percentage sign. Uh, if you need to send a shift key, you would add a plus. So caret plus would send both control and shift. So thanks to Mike. Now, in the podcast, I'd actually been looking for a way to do this with application dot dialogues dot show and I was frustrated that there did not appear to be a find or replace dialog in this list didn't look far enough several people and I want to thank everyone for writing in said it's not called find or replace it's called formula find or formula replace all right so let's go ahead and do formula find and we do dot show and so rather than having to use send keys, we could just use that line of code, which will get the dialog box to appear. So we'll do try it, control L, and there it displays the find dialog box. So it's there, just not named very appropriately. Go figure. So I want to thank everyone for sending those questions in to Laura out in Milwaukee. I think Waukesha, Laura in Waukesha, another way to solve your problem. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. Well, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.